Hey guys, this is Nash and in this video I'm going to review Cardinal AOSP Custom ROM and just to review this ROM I'm going to use my Redmi Note 4 Snapdragon variant. Also in this video I'm going to show you how this ROM performs in day to day life and what kind of features and customization this ROM provides and is this ROM worth daily driver or not. So let's get started. So this room is based on latest Android 8.1.0 and it comes with latest security patch of April 5. And the good thing about this room is that it has OT updates so you can easily update your room. Now OT updates is the feature which I don't see in many rooms nowadays. I don't know why but this feature is definitely a must because people normally love to stick to one room. So this is how the home screen looks when you first boot the ROM. It has pixel launcher as the stock launcher and you can right swipe for Google now and this one definitely looks neat and clean. Not only that, this launcher has some features and my favorite feature is the way you can change the shape of the icons. So as the name suggests, it's based on USB, so you won't find any junk or any bloatware apps. So if you're kind of guy who loves simple things, then you will definitely like this room. It doesn't have any bloatware or any junk apps or any unnecessary features for that matter. For example, just have a look at here. You can customize your status bar, your buttons, your lock screen and your recent menu. And that's it. No extra features like Resurrection Remix or any other custom room. And if you like to install themes, then Subsidon Theme Engine is supported as well as you get standard UI Theme Engine where you can customize your tabs to look like your wallpaper or you can have light and dark theme. And as I said, I have been using this ROM for last 4 days as my daily driver and so far I didn't experience any random reboot or any F4 close. This ROM is completely stable, you can compare its stability directly to .OS which is the base stable custom ROM right now. I tried some heavy games like Asphalt 8 and PUBG on this room and it was working perfectly, there was no lag in the game, also there is no overheating problem in this room. Apart from that, fingerprint is working, Bluetooth is working, Wi-Fi is working properly and that fingerprint bug which you get in other rooms is not present here. The standard camera you get in this room is Snapdragon camera, it's fast, it's quick to autofocus and it can shoot in 4K UHD. Also there are tons of manual control in this camera. Have a look at some photos I took with this camera. And now let's move on to most important thing in any custom room, the battery life. So with over 100 apps and all the notifications are on, I'm getting around 7 hours of screen on time. And the standby time is great also. So I left my phone completely charged in the night and in the morning it was just drained 2%. And that's outstanding for me considering I have so many notifications of Instagram and YouTube. And guys, so far I have flashed more than 400 custom rooms and I can say this room is definitely different somehow. So is this room worth a daily driver? Oh hell yeah, it's completely outstanding room, you should definitely flash it. I'm giving this room 4.6 out of 5, it has OT updates, great stability and performance and it's a good room for heavy gaming. Even though I reviewed this room on my Redmi Note 4, you can relate this review for any other smartphone. And if you really appreciate my work on this channel, then don't forget to like this video, it really helps the channel. This is Nan signing out and I will see you tomorrow.
Ooh.